Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Colour Me Ames. Thanks very much for joining me. In today's video I'm going to be showing you my collection of Lapland Huskies. I have nine to show you and uh, what I'll do is I'll bring forward whoever I'm going to be talking about one by one so you can have a closer look. If you've got any questions or comments please feel free to comment below. I love engaging with you guys and if you've got a favourite that you can see here please let me know. I will also pop some photos up of these guys up on my Instagram which is the same handle so if you have an Instagram please give me a follow on Callum Ames. and anyway let's get started. So we'll start off here with Kusi. So he has a very striking face. I love the contrast of the black fur up on top of his head versus the white. So they're all very similar in size, this collection, um, probably about 30 or 35 centimeters, so over 12 inches, depending on which system of measurement you're using. Kusi is a dome and soft touch plush. I'll just show you his feet. So it says Kusi, and then it's got Lapland UK. He also has this red leash on, and you can take it off. I, I just I like to leave it on because I think it looks cute on him. So all the Huskies in the Lapland range, um, they have really interesting names, I find. So Kusi, I did a bit of a Google, and it can mean a fir tree or moon. So that's really cool. Um, if you go on the Lapland um, website, I don't think they have this one, but they do have some of the other ones. Depending on where you live, you may be able to buy one off their website. I wasn't able to buy any from their website because they don't ship to Australia. Story of my life, guys. Um, so all of these that I'm going to be showing you today are eBay purchases. Thank you, eBay. Um, I am very grateful when people uh, who are downsizing their collection do the international shipping. Um, yeah, otherwise I wouldn't have all of these beautiful babies. So that was Kusi. And the next one up here is Arka. I love the glittery blue eyes. Look how pretty they are. Just looks so beautiful. She even got like that darker tint above the eyes. Huskies also always, even my own husky looks like she's wearing eyeliner sometimes. So they uh, definitely got that right with Arka. And she has cute little brown paw pads. And it's got different here. So Kuthi was German soft touch. This one is different. This one's made by Kiel Toys. If you can see that there. So different plush company. I mean... I guess the major difference that I can notice between the two uh, is the type of nose. So the Kiel one's got that plasticky nose and the Dome and Soft Touch has got that soft nose there. Um, but yeah, in terms of the actual make, how they've done it, again, very similar. Except for, you know, you can tell the difference. They've got the different type of stitching on the feet. But in terms of a collection point of view, they do look definitely like they belong to the same range, which is awesome. So in terms of Arca, Arca's name means sensitive, so sweet and sensitive. So that's really cute. So the next one here we have is Lumi, another beautiful pre-loved baby that I have. Again, those gorgeous glittery eyes on the Kiel ones. I believe all the Kiel ones have those beautiful glittery eyes in this range. So that's another definite way that you can tell it's the Kiel one versus the Dalman Soft Touch. So again, her tush tag looks a little bit different. She's got a little mark. I'll have to get that off her tail. See, she's a pre-loved baby. Some of them have little marks on them. I'll have to give her a hand wash as per the tag. So again, Kiel Toys. And that's Lumi says believe on her paw. Um, on the website it says that Lumi means snow. I guess because she's sort of snow white with a fur colour there. So that's really pretty. So there's Lumi. This next one I have is quite an interesting one. It's the only one I have in this lying down position and with the tongue out which is a bit cute and cheeky. So he does still have his tag on. I'll show you inside. I love the writing in there. So his name is Yoki or Joki, depending on how you want to pronounce the J. And his name in the Arctic North means river. 
So that's really cute. There's Yuki. I think he's a down and soft touch. So there you go guys, what I just said before has just gone out the window because this one is completely different <laughs> versus this other dome and soft touch. So they're surprising me and keeping me on my toes. So he's really beautiful. He does have similar eyes to Kusi though. So maybe that's what it is and that soft nose. So I was sort of on the right track, but he's very unique. So that's Yoki. He is. And the next one that I'm going to be showing you is Javi or Yavi. I'm not sure how they are pronouncing it. He's another Keel Toys one. Got the glittery blue eyes. This one was a Christmas gift a couple of years ago from my husband. Um, so that was pretty exciting. But again, I think he found it on eBay. Bless him. It says Javi or Yavi. And here at Lapland, his name means lake, as blue as his beautiful eyes. So they're so sweet and cute. I love the little stories. So there's Yavi. It's that beautiful grey and white. Have a look at his feet. There he is. So there's that one. And next up on my list is the red and white husky, which I don't have very many, if any other ones, I don't think of a, a red and white husky, which is really cute. So again, made by Keel Toys with those glittery eyes. Show you the tag. Keeping me on my toes again. This tush tag goes this direction. And then it comes back this way. Kill toys. So again, that's that same name as the lying down one. So jerky, yoki, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And again, um, that means river. So quite interesting name choice for this one, considering she is red and white. Obviously, I will keep the name on her because it's uh, stitched onto her paw. Um, yeah, I guess we could give her a nice nickname though. We'll call her Red. <laughs> Red Yoki. There she is. There we go. And the next one that I have to show you is another Doman or Dowman soft touch. Again with those eyes on the Domans. But just to throw a spanner in the works, guys, this one has a plasticky nose. <laughs> They're definitely keeping me uh, guessing with their different ways of doing things. But that same tush tag, the red on the black. So mine doesn't say his name on his paws. I'm not sure if it was supposed to say it on this paw. It doesn't look damaged, but I guess the other ones had it on both the back paws. I did a Google though, and his name is Balva, or Balva, B-A-L-V-A, -A, uh, which means cloud. So that's really cute. Soft like a cloud. So again, that's another dome and soft touch. And the next one is Kiwi, which is really cute. I love the brownie, like dark, it's like a dark brown. The fur almost looks black, but I guess when you shine that light from the camera on, you can see that it's like a dark brown. So that's really cute. I love that. Blacky brown almost when you're looking at him. Uh, so this is Kiwi. Kiwi. I'm not sure, depending on how you want to pronounce it. There's his tag, another Keel baby. Ooh. Keel toys. And I think I saw him on the website or when I was doing a search online and Kiwi means rock. So as strong as Kiwi or as strong as a rock, which is pretty fitting for Huskies. They're lovely and strong. Okay, and the last one here which um, is like a, a light brown, almost reddish tinge. Different from Yoki though, if you look at the two different oranges together. This one's more of a like a autumny, autumn leaf brown to me. <laughs> light brown, which is really cute. Again, it's another Kia one. And this time this one has this red lead and collar on. Which, yes, you can take it off if you want to. Got the Lapland UK Twitch tag. Kill toys. 
and it's Hunaja or Hunaja. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm getting these pronunciations terribly wrong. Please correct me. Um, I'm not the best at pronouncing these different names. Uh, but I'm going to call her Hunaja for the purposes of this video. And Hunaja means honey or sweetheart. So that is adorable. So I really love that about her. So there you go guys, there's my collection. Um, sorry I got a, you guys a little bit confused there when I was trying to figure out the difference between the dome and, um, and the keel. They are super duper lovely, obviously you can spot those subtle differences um, with the noses and again uh, not so subtle the eyes, you can definitely tell the eyes on the keel with those sparkly blue. But yeah, I love them all. They're really beautiful. As I've said before in previous videos, we have a husky of our own. Her name is Shimmer. She sort of looks, in terms of colouring, uh, she's more like Lumi. And uh, as most huskies, they have those beautiful striking eyes. So perhaps one day I can get her to cooperate and go on camera. She is incredibly camera shy. <laughs> she doesn't like it. She loves her mother, but when the camera comes out, she's like, no, thank you. And she covers her eyes and yeah. I've turned the flash off but she still doesn't like it. But anyway, that's for another go, we'll see how we go. There are a couple of pictures and videos on my Instagram so you can see her, she's there, as well as our other dog shadow. But there you go guys, thanks so much for watching and uh, until next time if anyone's got any suggestions for what they'd like to see in a video, I know someone mentioned they wanted to see my Douglas Cuddle Toys Silver Greyhound. So I can perhaps do another Douglas dog video collection. I just did this one today because um, these guys were already out up on the shelf and it was nice and easy for me. We are still recovering in this home. I'm not sure if you can hear it in my voice. Still croaky from that cold, guys. I just can't shake it. Hope it will leave me alone soon. But again, thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye.